The UConn Huskies are about two hours away from the team's first bowl game since 2015. Kickoff in the Myrtle Beach Bowl is at 2.30. So joining us live with some pregame coverage from down there is Channel 3's Joe Zone. Good afternoon, Joe. All I can tell you is I can't hear a thing you're saying. We're moving around the state so fast, Tom and I following these UConn events. I don't think the technology can keep up with us. So here, right now, we're at the big UConn tailgate party. Hi, folks. Yeah, baby. Woo! Woo! Okay, where, where are we all from? Manchester, Manchester Connecticut. Manchester, Connecticut. Manchester. Manchester. Yeah. Um, all UConn football fans, or oh, just oh, UConn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All UConn fans. All right. Oh, Good luck today, alumni. Okay, oh, yeah. we're going to just keep moving. So this is the big tailgate before the football game, which starts, of course, at 2.30. Um, as you can see, UConn fans all over the place. Um, about 40 minutes ago, we were at the send-off, which was 30 minutes from here, and it took us too long to get here. A lot of traffic building to get into the game. So that's the story here. Um, let's talk to some more fans over here. There's uh, David Benedict is here. David, we're live in... We're live, just so you know. Are you? Are you? We're live back live at noon. Are you happy with uh, the turnout so far for UConn yeah. fans? Yeah, no, our fans have uh, really showed up. We had a we had a great group yesterday at the pep rally, yeah. um, at the hangout. It, it's just been fantastic. And your hope is this is the first of many seasons to come where we're traveling yeah, someplace. Look, you know, the the goal is to be bowl eligible every yep. year, and obviously this is a great first step. And um, not that not there's a lot of work to be done yep. to to get to a place where this is consistently. And I will say that one of those pieces is getting the fans to show up. So we appreciate everyone that's come down, and we look forward to having a lot more people in, at at the rent next year. I didn't mean to come over and get you cold on the air, but but that's thanks okay. for coming on, yeah, folks. We we walk around, we see what's going on. David Benick, the, uh, of course, the athletic director who brought Jim Moore in as the head coach has done a great job. Um, not getting cues from the station. I'm guessing that's about two minutes. We'll see you at 4, 5, and 6, kickoff at 2.30 Joe's Zone Live. Myrtle Beach with the UConn football team.